So, welcome to this guide on how to uh, get Android 11 on your Razer Phone 2. So basically, what you're going to do is uh, go to the first link in the description and uh, scroll down to the instructions section of this um, and just follow these. Um, this doesn't really matter because uh, we're not going to be using the system-wide, you know, stuff. So... And then you're also going um, to follow these instructions. Um, this is for the Razer Phone 1, so it doesn't, it doesn't say download mode, but it's basically the same. It just, uh, uh, power button and volume down, which it says right here. So, um, next we'll be getting all of these. So... Basically, uh, you're going to want to get the uh, stock firmware for the phone and extract that with 7-zipper WinRAR. Um, get the OS itself uh, right here and extract it with 7-zipper WinRAR. Uh, by the way, I'll link this guide in the description. You could either follow this or the video depending on which one you want. Um, get the Trinity Kernel V2 and extract that with 7-zipper WinRAR. And then make sure to get this zip file and don't extract it as it says here. So uh, let's get started. So what you're going to do is after you have like extracted your platform tools folder, because you got to do that too, um, open that up and basically after you've extracted like your, your stock firmware, you're going to open this. Um, and then open this, alright. Now your platform tools folder is going to get a little bit cluttered here, but just bear with me. You're just going to copy everything, and just drag it in there. And then, you're just going to close this, and then this is where we actually do stuff with the phone. So. We have the phone right here, um, and we're just going to enter fast boot mode, so power button volume done. And I accidentally held the power button for too long, so I just restarted it because that's the first option. And then, I'm just going to plug it in with our Type-C to USB cable. Um, if this doesn't work, what you're going to want to do is um, plug it in in a USB hub if you have one. Or try USB 2.0. Um, then it should work just fine. And then you're just going to run flash all dot bat. And then this will just take a bit. Alright. So, yeah. J just, uh, just wait for this. So, immediately after it is finished, hold the power and volume down buttons. Now that you are back in the fast boot mode, we will be flashing the OS first. So, what you're going to do is um, get your extracted file. It should be system roar arm 64 ab gapsimage And then we will just be um, uh, holding left shift and right click. And then open in Windows Terminal, PowerShell, or CMD, whichever appears there. And then, in here, we will just be typing in uh, fastboot flash system and then our file. So, we can just drag the file in there. And then just hit enter. This will take a little bit, but uh, yeah, it'll just flash the OS to the phone. So after this finishes, um, we'll be then flashing the kernel, which should be a boot.image file. So uh, this time we're going to be flashing to the boot partition, so fast boot, flash boot, so to the boot partition, and then our boot.image file. So just drag that in. 
and then hit enter. This will be considerably uh, quicker than everything else, which is uh, very convenient. And then we'll be uh, going down with our volume buttons, you see. Uh, you go down to recovery mode. So just hit the power button and then it'll boot into recovery. Which in our case is TWRP recovery because we just installed that with the uh, boot.image file. Then you'll be swiping to allow modifications. All right. Now open up your file explorer and click on your Razer Phone 2. Now you will need an, uh, a micro SD card for this part because um, your phone will, okay, you will not have access to your phone's internal storage from Windows. So basically, just drag this fs2s uh, underscore fstab dot zip into the uh, micro SD card. Now I have this thing because I already did this and now it's on the micro SD card. Now it says it says this uh, 28 gigabytes free of 29.8 gigabytes. I mean 29.8 gigabytes of 29.8 gigabytes, but that's that just windows rounding a lot. So <laughs> you're just going to hit install um and then up a level and then just like scroll down. No, actually, no, you need to do select storage, then micro SD card. And then scroll down to the fs2s underscore fstab.zip. And do that. And you might get a bunch of errors on the bottom here. But that is fine. Um, and then go on wipe, format data. Type in yes, and then you'll get another error here, but that is, again, just fine. And then unplug your Type-C cable, and then we will just be hitting reboot system. You can't really see that there, but uh, whatever. <laughs> it's right under the lines so yeah just reboot system uh and then hit do not install and then it should just reboot into android 11. so just give it a little bit of uh, time and uh, there it is now if nothing has happened so far um like after a while then you're just gonna hold the power button and volume down until it shuts off and goes back into fast boot mode. And then you're just going to want to go back into recovery mode. And then swipe to allow modifications. Go wipe. Format data. And just type in uh, yes again. So I can't really <laughs> say it's a... Uh, inverted so it's kind of hard to see and then reboot system do not install again um, and this time it should work so just like wait and there we are right at the setup screen there you are in Android 11 look at this uh, <laughs> I was just gonna say look at the beautiful notification said but I just realized uh, you can't see it when uh, you're in the setup screen, but that's fine. Uh, it is Android 11, and yeah, there you go. Have a good time. So after you have finished um, doing all of the, uh, the previous steps, what you're going to want to do is uh, go into the settings, uh, go to PHH treble settings, and then go to miscellaneous features, uh, scroll down to force FPS, and do this bottom option right here and uh, just select that and then you'll have a 120 hz display and what you're going to want to do is um get a root file browser from the google play store and um 
allow root permissions with a super user and then just scroll down until you find the vendor folder right here and just uh, open that and then scroll down again until you find the overlay folder and then rename bluetooth rescommon.apk actually no don't do that delete bluetooth rescommon.apk and then find razor aura like bluetooth something.apk and then rename it to bluetooth rescommon.apk and then you have fixed bluetooth um you can also get logo plus which um will fix your razor logo make it light up again you just need to like go to the left bar and do the like go to the three lines and do the uh the top option i don't currently have it installed but uh if i did then that's what you do to get it um working also for youtube i recommend installing youtube advanced uh so then you don't have any ads with uh with youtube so uh and here you're just gonna want to do the non-root version when it asks you it's gonna be like down here because the root version is kind of broken so so yeah and then get micro g and then get youtube advanced you can pick between a black theme uh which looks a little something like this and i don't have internet on <laughs> but it's a black theme or you could just do the regular dark theme and yeah you don't have any ads it has sponsor block integrated into it so you can skip sponsors intros outros non-music parts of music videos etc and uh yeah and uh, that's how you uh, get Android 11. <laughs>